here again on this Saturday for another episode of XOXI Sorority Girl. Today our topic is date functions and mixers. So I know this is a big, big, big question for a lot of people. Parties, 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 and boys. So I know there's a lot of misconceptions about this. People think that sororities, that that's all we do, right? We're fake and we just go around paying for our friends and just party all the time. That is so not true. First of all, you can't party all the time because in a sorority, there's different regulations that we have. So first we have to have our um, academics on point. Every sorority has academic requirements. And if you're not meeting that GPA requirement, then you're put on either probation or suspension of some sort and you can't go to the events. So in order to even go to these events, you have to be school comes first. Even though, you know, we are sorority, we're there for having fun and growing closer together and supporting each other. But that's the thing. We support each other. We make each other better. So by no means is sorority life all about partying. Instead, like I said, we focus on those grades. We focus on building that sisterhood so that we can help each other through that, right? And so, no, it's not all about partying. Now, myth number two is that you have to have like a boyfriend or you have to be, um, what's the word, kind of promiscuous, right? So you always have to have someone to go to these events. That is so not true. You do not have to be dating someone in a fraternity to go. Not all the different parties and functions. Most of them, are, they're not in sorority houses. You know, at, at Winget, we don't even have housing. We have apartments. So no, by no means are all the parties and events that we do as a sorority in frat houses. And there's not these huge ragers that we're throwing. It's nothing like that. We do have events though. And so the types of events that we have is, I've already gone through sisterhoods. That's when there's only sisters. I've already said we have philanthropy events. So when we're raising money and supporting our philanthropy, okay? Now we also have date functions and mixers. And like, what the heck are those, right? Like, what is the difference? A date function and a mixer. Most people think a date function is when you have to bring a date, AKA a guy, right? That's not true either. So let's break these down. So a date function. A date function, yes, technically, you don't have to bring a date, but you are encouraged to bring a date. And typically there's different um, themes for these. So this can be like, we had an event called a Mai Tai event. So you had to wear matching ties with your date. So it's a super cute theme. Another one was um, country club versus um, country roads. And so you and your date had the option of either dressing like hillbilly redneck or like preppy, like you're going to the country club. We just have different themes that you can do. And so what a date function is, is that you can bring a date from anywhere. So it doesn't have to be from a, from a specific fraternity. It doesn't even have to be a girl or guy. It could be your sister. It could be your best friend from high school. It could be your cousin. It could be anybody you want to bring. So a date function is not limited to, um, you know, you have to bring somebody from a specific group organization. It is simply just a date. You can bring anybody you want to. But on top of that, you don't even have to bring a date. You could go with just one of your sorority sisters or you can go by yourself and just have fun with everybody. You don't have to bring a date to a date function, but I will say it does make it more fun. Okay, so next we're gonna break down mixers. So this one's just a little bit different. So like a date function, like I said, you can bring anybody you want. It doesn't matter who it is. With a mixer, you're doing this with another Greek organization and it's just one Greek organization typically. So a lot of times sororities will have a kind of partnered fraternity that they do a lot of mixers with. So for example, at Winget, we have my sorority, Alpha Zeta Delta, does a lot of events with PiCap. You know, but it doesn't have to be that. We can do events with anybody. And not only that, it doesn't have to be a sorority and a fraternity. It could also be a sorority and a sorority. So I know that we've done events before with other sororities like cookie decorating or one time we made um, cards to send to a nursing home and to um, soldiers overseas. And so we had an event where we got together and we had food and just hung out with, um, with actually it was Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. We all got together and we made these cards and it was a lot of fun. You know, so like I said, a mixer is not, oh my gosh, has to be guy and girl, has to be specific, this, this, and this. No, it's just another Greek organization. It doesn't have to be a sorority and a fraternity. They are a lot of fun and typically these are themed as well. And so we've done different types. Like we had a Mardi Gras mixer um, when it was near Mardi Gras. We went to a local um a local restaurant slash bar and we had a lot of fun we dressed in boa feathers and beads and we did that with pie cap you know we we always do an annual pie cap mixer at all shucks which is a local um corn maze and so you know like i said mixers are just with another greek organization it doesn't have to be a fraternity and it just has to be another greek organization to be a mixer now add a mixer 
if you come to the mixer, you can bring a date from that Greek organization. However, I can't bring my cousin, my best friend, my boyfriend, if he's not in that Greek organization. So that's the difference. Date function, you can bring whoever you want, but a, um, a mixer, you have to only bring someone. The only people who, are, who can be there are those who are part of the two organizations who are mixing. Okay, so another thing is, is that, like I said, a lot of people think that all sorority events are these big ragers where everyone gets drunk and it's a huge party. Okay, so that actually can't even really happen. Um, it can happen. However, it's kind of supervised. So when we have an, um, we have an event off campus that alcohol is involved, we have to take a bus. So we can't just go off, you know, driving and have all these people liable. We have to take a bus. We also have sober monitors and these sober monitors are there to help and make sure that no one gets too out of hand, that, you know, no one is um, not acting in an appropriate way and representing the organization, our school well. So these sober monitors, they help keep everybody in check and um, they help just keep the event safe. But once again, we have a bus that takes us there and takes us home. So no one can get too out of hand um, and no one is going to be driving after, you know, after drinking. Another thing is, is that if you are at the event and a sober monitor sees you and it's like, hey, you're not acting appropriate. You're not representing us well. You are sent home in an Uber. No ifs, ands, or buts. So once again, it's not some uncontrolled, you know, raging party. It's not like that at all. So we are there to help one another and make sure that we are all representing each other and taking care of each other because that's the thing we all love each other and we want to support and keep everyone safe so another thing is is that um just ended so i actually had the opportunity of being the chapter life community event planner for my sorority and so it was really fun to i was the one in charge of planning these date functions and mixers and even the sisterhoods and so i got to come up with the different themes and the different places and venues and one of the best events, I think that almost from anybody who's been in Greek life could probably say that one of the best events of the semesters is going to be your semi-formal and your formal. So your semi-formal is at the end of your fall semester and your formal is at the end of your spring semester typically. Your semi-formal is just like what you say. You know, you might wear that cocktail slash homecoming style dress, but you still get to dress up and have fun. And then your formal events, when you get to wear that more formal um, gown like almost kind of like you're going to prom but it doesn't have to be that dressy if you <laughs> if you don't want to be but it's just a super fun night to end the semesters and so semi-formal you're ending that fall semester spring you're ending the spring semester and it's just so much fun it's more of a date function so you can bring anybody you want whether it be like I said that best friend that person from back home somebody from campus who's not in Greek life or it could be somebody from Greek life and so it's just really fun to all come together and we have DJs and catered food and it's just super super fun and a great way to end the semester and so once again this is something you don't have to bring a date to and so that's what I just want to emphasize is that you know in sororities in Greek life it's not all about partying it's not all about you know buying those fake friends partying getting drunk going to those fraternity houses it's not like that at all we are a genuine, genuine group of girls who are here having fun, growing closer together, supporting each other, you know, focusing on school, you know, and, and hyping each other up, encouraging each other to do better. But we do that on top of raising money for our philanthropies and um, having these fun events where we get to just, these events aren't to be forced. These events aren't supposed to just be like, oh, I have to go to another event. It's not like that at all. You want to go because you want to have a good time with your friends because that's what these, these girls are to me. They are my friends. They are my sisters. And so it's just a lot of fun. And these date functions and these mixers, don't, don't get misconfused on those. You know, they're not, they're not these ragers. They are just a good, genuine, fun time. Okay, so once again, thanks for joining me. Hope that you have any questions, put them in the questions box or message me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and then join us again next Saturday for another episode of XOXI Sorority Girl.